Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I look so, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a struggle today. Um, it is probably eight something now in the morning um, because I, well, probably closer to nine because I just went and dropped the boys off at school. So I've been up for a while, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, I'm just kind of dragging today. I am so tired this week has really worn down on me but i feel like the last couple of mornings has been the first mornings where you go outside and you're like oh it's so cool and you're just like it automatically it's that the meme it's sweater weather it's sweater weather <laughs> and i am so excited for it i am so excited for fall i've been like i see everybody even like a month ago, I'm right there with you. I feel like I'm there all year long, but they're like, but I'm putting up all my Halloween decor. But for me, it's kind of hard for me to put it up too early because I don't know. There's just something kind of depressing about like seeing the Halloween and like fall decor and then walking outside and 90 degree weather because that's what we experience here and it's awful. <laughs> so I finally feel like since it's cooling down in the mornings, it's probably still going to be 80, 90 later on today. But it was literally cool enough for me to even put on like this over thing to take the boys to school. So I was like, okay, it is time. And just like every spring, whenever it starts to warm up, I open up the windows, let that fresh scent of the season come in light a candle um that kind of fits the mood of you know what season we're going into i usually i like spring still i usually mourn it a little bit more just because i've become such a fall and winter girl but i'm so excited that it's fall time i am so excited and it's september and yeah we're just starting to get into that weather and it Oh, I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to open some windows, hopefully, um, if it doesn't get too hot later on. <laughs> um, I probably need to clean the windows, but just like spring, I deep dive into cleaning, um, really deep cleaning, and I have a lot to do here. So we're going to do some fall cleaning today, but I thought I would take you guys along with me for a little sweater weather how I prepare for the fall type of vlog. Um, so sidebar before we jump into things, there is a tree, there's two trees outside in our front yard and I tried to take a video clip that you guys probably would have seen at the beginning of this video. You guys will have to rewind it if you didn't catch it and try to listen to it. Do you guys hear the noises? It almost sounds like, I hope it picks up in video. I really hope it did. Um, I hear it every single morning, but Usually I'm walking outside with the boys and they're talking or loud or whatever. So I recorded it as soon as I got back home from taking the boys to school so that maybe you guys could hear it. It literally sounds like it's raining, but it's the squirrels up in these thick trees. And that's how fast they're like getting their nuts and stuff stored away for the winter. It's crazy, but all the shellings are falling down. It sounds like rain, like legit rain. <laughs> <laughs> this one tree is like super thick and so tall that I there could be so many up in there and you can just see it you can hear it just sprinkling down like rain it is crazy but that definitely also puts me in the mood for fall because I know they're getting ready it's time for me to start getting ready so yeah I also it's Friday I went and picked up a Starbucks today <laughs> I've been trying to do better about it because I'm just like those first couple of weeks of school, not going to lie, it was one of the things that were, was keeping me okay, alive, happy <laughs> while my babies were away. Um, but it is a Friday. I'm going to drink my Starbucks. We actually have a little bit of a longer weekend, so I'm excited about that. But I'm also going to be in between cleaning. I'm going to be reading this graphic novel um, called Blankets. It's by Craig Thompson. I've kind of flipped through it and there's been like some like iffy things and I'm just like, okay, this is kind of different, but I think I'm reading too much into it and I'm like, I need to like gather the whole story because um, looking at like the reviews and stuff, I seen it and I was like, oh, that's really cute. You know, it just shows like two people like hugging each other and they're like out in the snow 
and it's called blankets. I mean, it just comfy, cozy vibes. Um, but I was reading the reviews on the back and it says that blankets is one of the greatest love stories ever written and surely the best ever drawn. Apparently it includes a beautiful telling of like this man's life. So I think it starts as when he's a child a young boy growing into a man and then like falling in love. So at the same time, I'm really, really excited to read it. Um, I've never heard of it before. I may just be under a rock, but I love graphic novels and really have been getting into them a lot versus just sticking with manga because that's normally what I do. But this year I'm really getting into a lot more graphic novels and like branching out more in that. So yeah, I am excited to check it out today in between uh cleaning and I really like how it's like laid out like the contents and stuff it's so cute but yeah I am going to drink on my coffee wake up a little bit read a little bit of this and then jump into some cleaning because it's gonna be a long full-on day with cleaning up in here I thought I could go ahead and maybe sit down and finally unbox some of this stuff um, some of its haul that I've bought um, but there's actually a good majority here that is also PR so I'm super excited to get it all unboxed so I can start filming with a lot of it um, yeah so let's go ahead and start first off face Tori they actually brought back their um, affiliate program and I used to be part of their uh, program so they reached out and asked if I wanted to be part of it again. I love Face Tori. If you don't know about them it is like a K-beauty outlet place um, where you can get uh, K-beauty sheet masks, skincare, I mean all literally all kinds of stuff. Um, but Face Toy also has their own brand and their own stuff now, like this restoring sleeping mask, which I cannot wait to try out. I'm going to link my affiliate link down below if you guys are shopping Face Toy and want to use it. I appreciate it and thank you so much. But oh, their packaging is so cute. I cannot wait to try this out. Thank you, Face Toy, for sending it over. Um, I know I'm going to love it. I've tried some of their sheet masks from their brand Face Tori in the past and they were phenomenal, but they do have a bunch of my other favorite sheet masks like Meg, um, 
I think they have that Avatara, I think is what it was called. Um, Tony Moly. I mean, they have so, so, so many. Um, you'll absolutely love their site. If you love sheet mask and skincare in general, you'll love it. Um, speaking of skincare, we have Ula Hendrickson. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was gonna flash my address. I was so excited to get this. I was like, what? It is insane, but this is one of their new moisturizers, um, the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Ooh, it looks so nice. Um, and I'm actually going to use this today. I am filming my Salem's Lot video, so it should already be up before this one. I plan to anyway, so um, you'll probably see this in that one. So check it out. If you missed it, you'll see what I think about this moisturizer there. But yeah, I cannot wait to try out this moisturizer. Thank you so much to Ula. Ooh, some more skincare. So uh, True Botanicals, they have sent me... Um, face oils and a hair oil in the past and they've been phenomenal. I'm still trying the hair oil, but I love the face oil so much, but it looks like they, ooh, I'm excited, another moisturizer. You know what, this is perfect though because we're getting into fall, winter, that cool season where our skin just needs so much more moisturizer that I am really excited. Um, this is the powerful pink goop that's clinically proven to transform your skin. I am so excited to try this out. Their products have just been phenomenal. Like, just so, so good. And you feel so luxurious and bougie using them. Ooh, this is so nice. Yeah, I cannot wait to try out this moisturizer too. Thank you so much to True Botanicals. I love your skincare. I know you probably won't ever watch this, but oh my gosh, they are incredible. And I'm so, I feel so fortunate to get some of their products and use their products. Okay, this box I was a little confused on because I, you usually like reached out by somebody <laughs> before they send you a package like from a brand. Um, and then, I mean, yeah, a, the brand can then send you at random packages, but usually your first package from a brand, they always reach out to you first. So I was really confused by this one because I have never heard of this brand. Let me know if you have. I want to say they're new though, but I did open this already because I was like, what is this from? But it's called Skin Proud and it's a brand that's available at Walmart. I absolutely love their campaign images. So, so good. Um, yeah, they just said they're sending this over to me. Um, they're all about embracing your skin. It's suit for every skin type. Skin proud, expertly blends science-led ingredients with powerful natural extracts to treat your skin transparently. Um, they're available at Walmart. And it does say lots of love, Ella and the skin proud team and I did see on this that EAC I don't know if you guys see that EAC down there um that is marked on Ciate London products as well and I've worked with an Ella I've talked to an Ella from Ciate London uh brand for sending out product so I want to say this might be from her so shout out to them and thank you so much this is so sweet but it is a full line from uh skin proud looks like we have a detox tonic a daily exfoliating tonic that's awesome um everything balm a multi-use skin balm please ignore my nails i still have not got my nails done and i have i actually have my ciate london nails i meant to do it this weekend and it slipped my mind um, Jelly Bright Essence, Recharge Serum, and Sleep Hero. Whoa, that sounds nice. But yeah, I am so excited to try this out. And I, like I said, I've never heard of this brand, so I don't know if they're like brand new or what the deal is, but I'm going to look, that's so cute, um, into this brand more and let you guys know in an upcoming vlog. I'll try out the products, look up a little bit more about them, um, and all of that, and I'll let you guys know in a blog. But I'm so, so excited to try these all out. Thank you so much to Skin Proud and Ella. Ugh, clear start, always coming through with the cuteness. Oh my gosh! And I am so excited. I've already I've already seen people open this package, so I already know what it is. But when I see AHA and BHA, I get excited. <laughs> um, so so excited. I love bright 
brightening effects on my skin so, so much. This is their new Breakout Clearing Liquid Peel. Um, it's supposed to be super, super gentle though, and all of their products have worked really well on my sensitive skin, and I've never noticed any irritation, so I will let you guys know. Um, but yeah, they always come through with the cuteness in their PR boxes. Um, but this is the product. It's so pretty. My lighting is kind of rough in here today, but here we go. Um, brief surfaces for clearer, smoother skin. I am so excited to try that out, and I just have to say I love this up here. The, we might suggest taking a before picked because the after is about to be chef kiss. <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, this is the product. Um, some deets about it. Um, but let's see what they sent with it. They saw, sent this really cute claw clip. I have been rocking claw clips nonstop lately. Um, let me get that out. Oh, I see stickers. Oh my gosh, so cute. These are going in my journal for sure. <laughs> um, and then let me see, oh, this is taped. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was wondering if this is what these were. We got these with their um, gel moisturizer. Uh, we got the blue ones, but no, we got these purple ones. Look how cute they are. Oh, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to create like a reel or something really cute with this. Of course, try it out. I cannot wait to try that out. My skin needs it. <laughs> Thank you to Dermalogica Clear Start so much for that. Um, last, oh wait, I think I have a couple more uh, PR. So this was sent over. This was another moment where I have no idea where this came from, um, but it's a Prada perfume sample. It was very random, but it says, time to try it because we know you love the discovery as much as the product. Invite your beauty-obsessed friends to join the Try It experience. Try it dot condesnat, snast, dot com. Hashtag try it and tell. I have no idea. I don't even know how they got my address, but <laughs> there it is. If you guys want to try it out and get samples. I don't know how it works, you guys, but they sent it over and I was like, okay, this is random, different, but I'll try out a, a Prada perfume sample. All right, then lastly, PR wise, I got this package from Ciate London. Oh, I'm so excited. They have been sending over the cutest stuff. You guys, look at this collection. I'm literally going to film with it this week. I cannot wait. Um, it is the Smiley Collection. Oh, beautiful. It has all the details. Is it a palette? Okay, well, that looks like more nail art. Ooh, some lip. Plump lip. Ooh, it's a face palette. Illuminating blush quad. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Their glow tube blushes are like everything. So I know those are gonna be beautiful um, Yep, we have more nail art a mirror. That is so cute. Is it? Oh, yep. It's in here um, A lip looks like a lip balm or a lip. We have a lip mask Ooh, There is a palette. I don't know what all I have in here, but you guys I'm gonna film with this and hopefully it'll be up soon. I may even try to turn around and film this and get it up before this video. So if it's already up, I'm gonna link it up above, but if you guys wanna check it out, I am so excited. Yep, I have the mirror. Oh, yep, looks like I have everything. So I am so excited. I'm going to just show that because I'm gonna try to get that video up as soon as I can. So if you guys wanna see it, click my eye icon or look down in the description because it should be there. I'm hoping to have it filmed. I may even film with this today, you guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you to Ciate for that. Okay, lastly, I have like a few packages that I actually ordered myself. Guys, I had to. Nomad came out with another fall palette. And you know, I, I really like the brand. I really do. But I just feel like they have been, their launches have been like hotcakes lately. I mean, kudos to them. They're an indie brand and they really, really bring it. They have unique color stories. They're just not always my vibe. They've been very bright and like adventurous out there. And I feel like I have all the colors I need. So unless it's like really eye catching my style, I just don't really shop a lot of makeup anymore. So 
You guys know I am a sucker for fall makeup though, or spooky, that type of vibe. So they kind they came out with their Haunted Europe last year, and I'm obsessed with that palette. It's so cute that I could not wait to see what they did this year. Thankfully, they came through. Now, it's not like super creepy vibes, but there's a little bit there. They did a palette based on Hudson Valley. Packaging is just chef kiss. I mean, it comes in this mailer, but it's like very eco-friendly. Um, but are you kidding me? Look how cute this is. It has like a little like sniff thing. So you lift this up, literally smells like Harvest Spice, everything nice <laughs> for the fall. Um, but it shows like some different locations. Like if you're going to go to Hudson Valley, this is Nomad's Guide to it. So freaking cute. All the deets on the back. I just thought it was just such a good uh, touch. Their whole brand I think is incredible. If you didn't know, Nomad like travels. They travel and make palettes on locations that they visited and stuff. It's so cool that this is just a postcard. Are you kidding me? So cute. But let me open this so I can show you guys. I'm going to be filming with this soon. I just thought I have some Halloween content coming up, you guys. So I might have to hold off on this one for just a bit because I really want to get the spooky, spooky stuff you know, for October and stuff, but I may try to slip this in a filming sesh for this month at some point, but I will definitely play with it more in or November. This is going to be the vibe in November for sure, but look how freaking cute. It's just very fall vibes, but you do have a little bit of the uh, spookiness to it with some of these. But yeah, you have like Cider House, Break, or Great Pumpkin Patch, oh, so pretty, Oktoberfest. Then you have Ghost Tour, Bed and Breakfast. Oh my gosh, those shades, The Foliage Trail and Leaf Peeping. Oh my gosh, even Corn Maze, so good. I can't wait to play with this. You guys, I just seen the pumpkin stamp. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Mine's a little wonky, but it's so cute. Oh, 10 out of 10 for their packaging. Another must-have Halloween. I mean, are you kidding me? Shroud and Batty Bean once again. I'm here for it. So, so cute. Um, I love this tombstone. <laughs> um, little note from the Shroud team. So cute. But it is the Hollow Bean palette. This is round two with them. I was obsessed last year with round one. Um, the It's freaking bats. But this is this year's collab palette and it's just like a halloween dream i mean just so good black flame is like oh my god i cannot wait to dip into that shade woodsboro oh my gosh i love the names so so much losers club are you kidding me it's showtime ah it's so cute cannot wait to play with this too I also picked up the Harry Potter collab. I know that there's a lot of mixed feelings on it. Um, I feel like you should just go with how you feel on it. I usually try to avoid purchases from mass people like that who um, sometimes don't always say the best things. Um, I've kind of seen it both ways with her where I can see where people get very upset. Now, I can't say I relate because I... Um, I'm not in their community, but I can still, as a human, see where they can get upset with it. Um, I know she has tried to say that that's not where she was coming from. I know that she's written, I think, a book about a transgender person since as well. I'm not trying to speak for her. I know it was very shady, dodgy what she did um, and what she said. I feel like collectors like this are so hard because it's so nostalgic for us and it just is things that we absolutely love. And I'm also with people who just say like, okay, but if you're going to like boycott buying from her, then you need to boycott like Target and you know, all these mass places who do support people like that as well. So, I mean, there's that too. Um, but I, I just bought the palette and the highlighter. Um, but, you know, I wanted to be open about it, honest about it. I am going to be filming with it, but um, I understand completely if you if you don't 
like it or if you didn't get it and you know the, the whole case. I'm really excited to do like some house looks with the palette and then ugh, I love Hedwig so I had to get the highlighter. Let me open these. It is a super shock cheek if it'll focus but oh my gosh and it's so pretty. It's kind of like a pearly uh, purple bluish. Ugh, it's just so whimsical, magical. I cannot wait to try that on my face and then the palette packaging is like a Harry Potter dream. It's just so beautiful. These shades. I'm going to have so much fun doing the house looks. Oh my gosh, in this lighting, look at that. Forbidden Forest. So pretty. I'm pretty sure it's like one of their like pressed glitters, but it's pretty. I love the names. You guys, I have so many looks and stuff to film with now. It's not even funny. I'm going to be like filming like crazy. You guys are probably going to get a lot of content from me this month. So just a heads up. Also bought um, my first order from Undone. This is the nail polish from Machine Gun Kelly. Um, I've just been really needing some good nail polish. I've been trying a couple different brands. Not gonna lie, one of the last ones I was really, really excited to try. I don't even wanna throw a name out there, but I was really excited to try them and then I never said anything about them because um, how thick the formula got within just like a week of having it, I was very, very disappointed. So I'm really excited to try um, his brand. If you don't know, I mean, you probably do <laughs> if you follow me, but I'm a huge Machine Gun Kelly fan. Um, I love this music, but it's really cool that if you placed an order, you got a canvas bag that day. So, so I lucked out. Um, I use these when I go to the library to carry my books and for errands and stuff. So it's super cute. Um, packaging is 10 out of 10. This is so luxe. And then this is the set that I got. Um, I just wanted a good black nail polish. So I got the, I think it's called Depressident. And then these other two are like multi-chrome just oh my gosh so pretty like on their own like as a nice like glaze but also beautiful over colors they are absolutely stunning over the black shade so yeah I just went ahead and just got the set because I was like whenever I'm in the mood to not just have black nails I'll spice it up a little bit with them but yeah I think that is everything oh one more thing I shopped small and I was not disappointed this is from, it's Hello Teddy Co, I think. Um, it's a new brand to me. I've been following for a little while on Instagram. She makes super, super cute uh, clay earrings. And then she dropped Halloween ones. And I mean, how cute are these? They're earrings. Ugh. They're gonna be my ears like all month. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, my ears are very, very sensitive, so I have to watch it. So I didn't really buy too many. I just bought this pair. And then they had a bunch of bat ones too, but they were like sold out so fast. Um, they have really, really cute ghost ones too. Definitely check them out. Um, is her, I don't know if her website's on here or not. But you can just find them. I think it's just Hello Teddy Co. on Instagram. Um, but super, super cute. They just um, teased some Hocus Pocus ones too. And when I got on their website, they were sold out. <laughs> so they sell out very, very fast. But they have the cutest stuff. I guess it's, her name is Kelly. But she's super, super creative. These are so cool. And I cannot wait to wear them. Um, but yeah, check her out. It's a small shop. You guys know how I feel about that. Shop small. I have... <sighs> <laughs> this mess to clean up. Get busy on that. But I think I'm going to film with the Smile collection today and let you guys, uh, maybe I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek on how the look turned out, but I'm so excited. A little sneak peek of the look. The collection is so, so cute. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to have that video already up so you guys can check it out, but I absolutely love how the look turned out. But I want to go ahead and wrap up this video. It has been a very long day of getting some deep cleaning done, um, starting that fall cleaning, um, meal prepping, some pasta salad, which is actually bomb. It turned out so, so good. Um, I used like vegetable noodles. So the, the 
pasta is actually not pasta and it's just vegetables so it's gluten free um if you don't eat meat you can keep the salami out of it but it was so easy to just like throw together oh my gosh it's so good and it's just although it's starting to cool down i've just been craving like a good cold pasta salad <laughs> But yeah, I feel so accomplished today. I got some stuff organized in here. Um, there's still so much to do, but I am hoping very soon I'll have like a wide spread of a room to have tons of different filming locations. Like that's what I'm working towards. Um, and just having everything just tidy and organized and just ready to go for me throughout the week. Fingers crossed I can get it there. I'm also working on another uh, like behind the scenes of like the room makeover transformation type of ordeal. So hopefully I'll get one of those up this month as well. If not, I'll make sure one gets up next month. But I did finish blankets today too. This was the perfect read for a day like today because I mean, it's a graphic novel. It's really easy to just like fly through it. But I did not expect this to hit so, so deep like almost like a triggering point. I mean, in ways it really did trigger, but like it's so beautifully done at the same time that it's not, it's a, it's a confusing one for me. I would say tread lightly with this one because although it looks super cute and cozy, it's a little intense. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily call this like a love story. I would call it a growing of age or growing to age, um, a growing up story. It's the author's story of his own childhood and life um, to early adulthood. And so it has a, a bunch of uh, twists and turns that I was just like, whoa, you know, um, a lot of tragic things, but also, and very depressing, but also, um, I don't know, I feel like it, highlights and does a really good job of showing um the awkwardness of growing up too and wants and desires and um you know that first love and yeah growing up because I mean it shows days as being a kid and I think it also does a really good job at like showing that so many people still battle with um hard things in their past and also regrets of things that they wish they would have done differently. And I feel like this book does a really good job of showing that too, but also showing that you can let things go, you can move on and um, move forward for yourself and no one else. And it was kind of a whoa, wow moment for me um, towards the end, just being like, oh my god, like I needed this. So yeah, I can say it's it's heartbreaking. It's like breathtaking at times. Um, but I'm actually very glad that I did read it. Like, I think it was just like, I don't know. I think it gravitated towards me. It was just like, you need this eye opener right now. You know, I feel like I could critique it more, but I feel like it's so authentic and so raw because it's someone's actual story that is just kind of like, almost like reading a a nonfiction, like a memoir or something. The talent in this is insane, but it's a little bit of a tough one to read too at the same time, but it was really nice to like set it down. I don't think it's a one setter, one setting for me. So it was nice to kind of set it down and then pick it back up throughout the day, but yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out today. I appreciate it. I hope, if anything, videos like this, I just hope it kind of gives you motivation, whether it's to just go through things and organize, to clean. If you're needing to get some cleaning done, you're just kind of like ugh, down and out about it. Play videos like this in the background. It helps, I'm telling you. Um, take breaks, read a book, or listen to music or a podcast, or um, nap even. <laughs> uh, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that it motivated you in some way, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!